What's up, all my musicians out there? On this quick video, I'm gonna explain what does a pop filter do. So as you can see, I'm filming with my microphone right now. I have my Blue Yeti, so I'm gonna move it here. And as you can see, I have a pop filter right in front of the microphone. I cannot suggest enough to get one. I mean, this one was only like seven bucks. Also, there's different price points when it comes to pop filters. Now, a pop filter essentially does two things. The first is they mitigate plosives. So plosives is typically like P and B soundings. That you have almost a kind of that popping sound, hence the name pop filter. So ironically, the word pop has a plosive in it, like the and pop. It helps kind of mitigate that plosive. When it comes to B, like the B in bubble, for example, is another plosive. The so think of it almost like that quick burst of air, like the popping sounds like banana or a potato. So the pop filter helps mitigate that kind of quick burst of air and sound that happens when you have a plosive. The second thing, which is very important, which is not talked about as much, is when we all talk, this is inevitable, a bit gross, but it's inevitable, we naturally spit. So when you have a pop filter, it actually helps mitigate the water damage from when you're talking because over time, and this is something that just happens naturally, you can't really avoid it, you naturally spit a little bit when you talk or when you're singing or basically whatever your use is with the microphone. So if I have this pop filter off, it will naturally get some low key water damage and over time it can severely damage the microphone. As we all know, some microphones can be insanely expensive and that's the last thing that you want. So by having the pop filter on, like so, it helps one, mitigate any type of plosive, and two, it helps mitigate any type of water damage when I'm talking, singing, or whatever the case is. Mother.